Hello everyone, welcome back to Atreyu Crochet. So, as promised in today's video, we will be making a hat. It's going to be a continuous rounds hat as promised, but it's probably not going to seem like it because we will be changing colors so frequently, pretty much after every round for a while. Uh, so, hopefully you'll still grasp the concept of continuous rounds. And yeah, let's just get right into the things that you're going to need. So because we're doing continuous rounds, you're going to need this green <laughs> stitch marker. Obviously, it doesn't have to be green and it doesn't even have to be this kind of stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a paper clip, a safety pen, yarn of a different color, just basically anything to mark the stitch. OK, and then. You're going to need three different colors. I will leave links to these specific colors if you want to make your fall hat. Um, these colors, I like these colors a lot, especially in combination because it just reminds me of the beautiful foliage. So um, you're going to need, yeah, one of each. And this is the super chunky or super bulky yarn. And this is by Hometown USA. I'm also using a size 10 crochet hook. The instructions on this yarn say nine millimeters, but you can use 10 millimeters as well. Okay, and this is a size N. And then right over there in the corner, you'll see that you're gonna need a pair of scissors. As I said, we're gonna be changing the color after every round. So yeah, these are the things that you need. Um, by the way, shout out to Nadia from Yarntopia. I saw a video where I think she made a wavy chunky hat I think that's what she called it and this is definitely inspired by that video I really liked how she made the waves in that hat and yeah I figured because it's fall now uh, yeah let's let's make one like that but with the fall colors all right let's get started All right, so as you see, we're starting out with the lightest color, that kind of beautiful gold color. And I'm just gonna start out with a slip knot. So I'll just wrap it around like that. And then pull this over that front one while leaving that one on your finger. And then insert your large size 10 or nine millimeter crochet hook. Now we are going to chain three, one, two and three and we're going to insert our crochet hook into that first chain that we made so another way of looking at it is the third chain from the crochet hook one two three that's the third chain from the crochet hook but that's also the first chain that we crocheted so we will enter that stitch and you guys know I like to get two loops when I enter chain stitches. It's just more meaty, as I like to call it. <laughs> and then we're going to yarn over and pull all the way through, essentially making a slip stitch. Okay. And so what you've done by slip stitching into that first chain stitch is you've created a ring. And it's going to be kind of hard because how, of how bulky this yarn is. But I'm going to try to get my finger through this ring. Yeah. See that little finger there? That's the hole and that's the ring that you have just created, okay? So now we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And this will not count as a stitch, okay? And now we're gonna go into this ring and we're gonna crochet 12 double crochet. So yarn over enter that ring where my finger was poking through like I said it's bulky yarn so it can be a little tough just make sure you're going in the right place yarn over pull through to the front you have three bulky loops one two three you'll yarn over go through two one two yarn over go through two one two yarn over re-enter the ring yarn over pull through to the front three bulky loops yarn over go through two one two yarn over go through two one two yarn over into the ring again 
And as you put more double crochets in here, you'll see that the ring, that opening will become more defined. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three bulky loops. <laughs> yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two, okay? So I want you to continue putting double crochets around until you have a total of 12 double crochets, not counting this chain three. I will meet you there. Okay, so I have my 12 double crochets made plus this chain three. What I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the top chain of that chain three. So just get my hook through there, stitch, yarn over, pull all the way through like that. Now I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. Now it's time to switch to another color. I'm gonna bring in that orange color. And by the way, you can just pull fasten off like that, okay? So this is where we slip stitched into that chain three. So now that I have slip stitch, cut my yarn fastened off in that same top chain of that chain three, that's where I'm gonna insert my crochet hook. Now I'm gonna take the orange yarn loop it on and by the way I've already tied a couple of knots between the tail of the orange and the tail of the yellow that I just finished in fact let me show you now and then I'm gonna hook this on like that and just pull it through okay and now I am going to just tie a knot with the yellow that I just fastened off with and the tail of the orange. Tie a couple of knots, okay? Like that. All right, so I'm going to loop the orange, pull it through, and now I'm gonna make a standing double crochet. So I'm gonna lift up, give myself some slack, like that. Put my finger here, my pointer finger there, and rotate while holding it so that now I have two loops on my crochet hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull this kind of behind and around that first loop and I'm going to tighten and now I'm going to take my thumb and this pointer and hold right there and yarn over and go through the two remaining loops. One, two. Okay. So that's a standing double crochet. Don't worry, it will look better with time. And this standing double crochet and all of the standing double crochets that are to come will not count as a stitch, okay, for the round. It's just kind of to get me to the height of each round. Now I am going to put two double crochet into every stitch around. Something that I can do while I'm putting two double crochet into every stitch around is crochet over this yellow tail that I tied a couple of knots with the orange with, okay? So I'm gonna just lie that on top as I crochet into these. And I didn't think about it, but you really won't need to know where the first stitch is because every round we begin a new color. But with continuous rounds, normally you would mark the first stitch. Remember that technically this standing double crochet doesn't count as a stitch so you would know that it would be the second one. So let's make the second one. So yarn over, enter the top of that double crochet, slice the icing off the top of the cake like I like to say, put that tail on top and then yarn over pull through to the front. Now we have three chunky loops. Yarn over, go through two, and yarn over again, go through two. And now you would place the stitch marker or safety pin or paper clip or yarn of a different color through that stitch to mark it. As I said, you won't really need to do this in this pattern. I didn't think about it until now because Every new round is going to start a new color and you just need to remember to start, you know, on the second stitch or whatever. That kind of technically begins the round. Uh, but 
don't worry about it. Just get in the habit of using a stitch marker when you're doing continuous rounds. All right, so remember I said two stitch in every stitch below. So this stitch below only has this one stitch. So let's go back in and make another double crochet. And notice I'm still crocheting over this tail. So I'm just lining on, lying it on top. Yarn over, next stitch gets one double crochet. And back into that same stitch for the second double crochet. Okay, so you'll just continue crocheting over that tail, putting two double crochets into every stitch, and I will meet you once we get back around. See you there. All right, now that we're back around, we have two double crochet in every stitch. We're going to, this is the standing double crochet, slice the top, so go in the top of that stitch, going through two loops like you would with any other double crochet. And as I said, it can be a little difficult to get into some of these stitches because of just how bulky the yarn is so just keep trying and you'll get it there it is see all right make sure you get all of that bulk all right so now what you can do is take your next color which is the red hook it on to the crochet hook and in fact let me hook it on that way so the tail is in back the short end is in back and then just pull all the way through like that now when we flip it over you can tie a knot with the new red tail and this orange that we just dropped off okay so one and then two and now we can cut this orange And we're going to crochet over that orange while we're making the stitches for this third round, okay? So just to orient you, we started with the chain three back in round one, and then for round two, we started with the standing double crochet. And that's what we're going to do for every round hereafter, okay? So remember, that first stitch in this round one, it was chain three. In round two, it was a standing double crochet. And in this round three, it's going to be another standing double crochet. That stitch will not count. Okay. So you have 12 stitches in round one, 24 stitches in round two. And we'll see how many you have in round three. So lift up a little bit. Hold it here. Rotate while holding so that you have two loops. Okay. Yarn over go behind and around like that okay use your thumb and your pointer of your left hand if you're right-handed and hold the bottom there now you can release here yarn over and go through the two loops okay and that's your standing double crochet and it's in there now for this round we're gonna put two double crochet into the first stitch so remember, this is not the first stitch. This is the first stitch there, that second one. And remember, that's why we put the stitch marker there. So we'll put two double crochet. Don't forget to crochet over this orange tail as well, so you don't have to worry about weaving it in later. So we'll enter this first stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, enter that same stitch again. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three chunky loops. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. And now for the next stitch, we're gonna put only one double crochet. So yarn over, enter the top of the stitch, still crocheting over that tail until the tail is no more. Pull through to the front, three loops. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. And that is the pattern, so two, one. So that means the next double crochet will get two. Still crocheting over that tail, one, two and then the next stitch after that we'll get only one one and then we move to the next stitch which we get two one two and the next stitch we'll get one one okay so continue in that two one pattern around and i will meet you there all right so we have completed round three now it's time to move on to round four 
By the way, you should have a total of 36 stitches and that is not counting that standing double crochet, okay? So all the other stitches, except for that standing double crochet, should sum to 36. All right, so now it's time to change colors again. But first, we're gonna insert our hook into the top of this standing double crochet. Remember, you might have to just go in one loop at a time. Oh, I got it the first time, nice. And now we're gonna go back to this gold, okay? So I'll just grab my gold here, loop it on like this, pull it through, and then put it all the way through. And look, I missed some of it. So I'm gonna go back out, try it again. Make sure I get all of the strands of that. Okay, pull it through like that. That's better. And then pull it all the way through. And then I'm gonna pull on the red that's coming from the skein. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it over. And remember, you're gonna tie the new tail to the old tail make a couple of knots so one and then two okay and then we can cut the tail of the yarn that we no longer are working with okay and we're going to crochet over this tail that old tail you could try to crochet over both but this yarn is so bulky it's not going to work as well okay so we're going to lift up, give ourselves some slack because remember that first stitch is always the standing double crochet. Okay. Hold here, rotate. Now we have two loops essentially. Yarn over, go under and around, hold there, yarn over and go through those two loops like that. This does not count as a stitch. And by the way, we should have moved our stitch marker up. So let's do it now, just so you can clearly see what the first stitch is. It will remind you that that, that is not the first stitch. So this stitch was in there. So now it goes in here. So when you do that, you'll clearly see that, hey, that's not the first stitch. This is the first stitch. So now what you want to do, and we're going to crochet over this red tail, remember. We're gonna put a double crochet into this first stitch. We're gonna actually put two of them in there. So yarn over, go into the top, make your double crochet one, and then make another one. Go back into that same spot, two, okay? And then the next two stitches will only get one double crochet. So one, and then the next stitch will get one. And now we're going to repeat the pattern. The pattern is two, one, one. Okay, let's do it again. So this next stitch will get two because the pattern is two, one, one. So two, and then the next stitch gets one, double crochet. And then the next stitch gets one, double crochet. Okay, so two, one, one, two, one, one. Continue in that fashion on around here and I will meet you there. All right, so. I made it back around and it's time to slip stitch into that standing double crochet which remember does not count as a stitch so just go into the top of the standing double crochet getting in to both loops the loop in the front and the loop in the back like that and now we're going to go to the next color which is this orange so we're going to go back to the orange loop this on here like this so hold Pull through like that and pull all the way through because it's a slip stitch and then we're going to pull on the yellow so that we can make this loop right here small like that now we're going to flip it over and we're going to tie a couple of knots between the short tail of the orange and the yellow that we're about to cut off so one and then two and now we can cut our yellow because we don't need it right now, okay? Flip this back over, and now we need to make that standing double crochet. Remember, this is the standing double crochet of the previous round, which is why we slip stitched into it, so give yourself some slack. 
And you might be wondering, how can you give yourself slack if you tied a couple of knots? Well, I'm giving myself slack from this side of the yarn, which is still coming from the skein, okay? So yeah, there's a knot there between that orange and the yellow, but I still have slack that I can afford myself from the orange that's coming from the skein, just in case you were wondering, okay? Put your finger there, rotate, yarn over, go up under and back forward, hold, lift, yarn over, go through two. And like I said, a lot of times this is gonna look disformed, ugly and not uniform, but it will straighten out as you continue on. All right, and this time I'm gonna remember to move my stitch marker to the next round and to the first stitch of that round. Remember this standing double crochet did not count, so this is the first stitch. So just stick it in there just to remind myself that that's the first stitch. And now the pattern will be to put three double crochets into the first stitch. So remember this standing double crochet is not a stitch, so it's not the first stitch. However, the next stitch with the stitch marker is the first stitch. So we're gonna put three double crochet into that same stitch. And also we can remember to crochet over that orange or gold tail while we're doing it, just so we have less to weave in later. So put that up there, enter the stitch and make three double crochet in there. One, go back into that same stitch for two and go back into that same stitch one more time for three. By the way, this is the round where we are going to be starting that wave pattern. So I'm super excited about that. And by the way, the previous round, which is one, two, three, four, round four should have had 48 stitches. All right, so now that we've put three double crochet into that first stitch, which was there with the stitch marker, we're gonna put one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. These four stitches will get one double crochet in them. And I'm still crocheting over that tail until it disappears. Okay, one, next stitch. Two, next stitch. Three, next stitch. Four, okay? So I did my three double crochet in that first stitch, and then I did one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Now I'm going to do three double crochet together. So let me show you what that looks like. So we're gonna yarn over, enter the next stitch, which is there, slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull through to the front. All right, yarn over, go through two. Before we complete this double crochet, we're gonna go into the next stitch. But yarn over first, enter the second double crochet, yarn over, pull through to the front, four loops, yarn over, go through two. All right, this is a double crochet three together. So we need to get a third double crochet in the mix, right? Like any other double crochet, we always start before entering the stitch by yarning over once first and then entering the stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Now we have five loops on our crochet hook. We'll yarn over, go through two, and now we're gonna yarn over and go through all four loops. And now we've just crocheted three double crochets, one, two, three, together. You notice that all of these three double crochets belong to this one top, that one piece of icing right there, okay? So we've essentially done the reverse of this. This was creating three double crochets in one stitch, which can kind of be seen as an increase, versus here where we took three double crochets and made them into one, which can be seen as a decrease, all right? So now we are going to put one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, each of those four Stitches will get only one double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. All right. All right, so from this point, we're going to repeat the pattern. Now you might be wondering, what is the pattern? <laughs> well, the pattern is 
three double crochet into one stitch and then one double crochet into the next four stitches then double crochet three together and then one double crochet into the next four stitches so you do that little mini increase by putting three double crochet into a stitch and then you do one double crochet into each of the next four and then you do like this mini decrease so the decreasing three double crochets together and then followed by the four so since we did increase four double crochets decrease four double crochets that means this next stitch is due for an increase three double crochets so we just put one go back into the same stitch two go back into the same stitch three and now we put one double crochet into the next four stitches that's one two and you guys can slow this video down if you're watching it on YouTube, which you should be because that's where I posted it. <laughs> three and four, okay? One, two, three, four. If you're wondering if you need to do a decrease or an increase, just look at what you did four, or I guess five stitches ago. So one, two, three, four, five. That took me here, and I did an increase. So now I need to do the three double crochet together. So. Remember with three double crochet together, that means you're gonna be utilizing three double crochets from below, three stitches from below, and we're gonna be crocheting them together. So yarn over, enter the stitch, yarn over, pull through the front, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, enter the second stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, enter the third stitch, third and final stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two, and now yarn over go through all four remaining loops and that's your double crochet three together now you guys already know the pattern one double crochet into the next four stitches okay two three and four okay if you forgot what should be next just go back five stitches so one two three well, one, two, three, four, five, and you say, oh, I decreased there. That means it's time to increase, okay? So three double crochet into that one stitch. So just continue doing that, and I'll meet you once you get back around here. See you there. So I don't know how well you guys are able to tell at this point, but it's already starting to make that wavy shape. The way that we are achieving that is by alternating between the mini increases and the mini decreases. Now, if you're wondering how many stitches you should have for this round, let me tell you, you should have 48 stitches. And if you remember, if you recall in the previous round, this gold yellow round, you had 48 stitches. So you might be thinking, how do you have the same number of stitches for this round, if you were doing, you know, putting three double crochet on one stitches, well, that wasn't the only thing that we were doing, right? We were, after we put in three double crochets into one stitch, don't forget, we also later decreased three double crochet down to one stitch. So it ended up balancing the number out. They balanced each other out. And so as a final result, you ended up not increasing or decreasing but instead maintaining the same number of stitches around and and I know it's kind of early but you, you're starting to see that it's not really a perfect circle anymore it's starting to you know kind of bulge in certain areas and that is what will lead to the wavy pattern okay so I just wanted to explain that if you're wondering how many stitches you should have at this point and if you're wondering how the waviness was formed and this is one of the reasons why I love this pattern so much shout out again to Yarntopia uh, Nadia from Yarntopia all right let's continue on all right so we need to slip stitch into this standing double crochet which we never count as a stitch remember it's just kind of there to get us to the height of that round so we enter the stitch and now it's time to return to the red right because the red comes after the orange so we will grab our red yarn hook it 
onto the crochet hook. I always feel weird when I say that. Hook it onto the crochet hook. <laughs> Wrap it around the crochet hook and then pull through without dropping it like I just did. And then pull all the way through because it's a slip stitch. Now to make that loop small, you're just gonna pull on the orange. Let's see how it disappears almost, okay? Pretty much disappears. So now flip it and use the red tail and tie it to the orange that's coming from the skein and we'll make a couple of knots like we always do. One, and then two. And now that we're done with the orange, for now we can cut that off and just put it out of the way. All right, so now we need to get up to the height of this round, so we're gonna give ourselves some slack so we can make that standing double crochet. Finger there wrap around, yarn over, go behind and around, grab there, lift up, yarn over, go through two. And there's our standing double crochet. Let's relocate the stitch marker. Okay, and we'll put it here. And now we know that that's the first stitch of that round. And so the stitch that we put in that stitch will be the first stitch of the current round once we get back, okay? So now we need to put one double crochet into the first stitch. Remember this standing double crochet, that's not the first stitch. Remember the standing double crochet never counts. The stitch with the stitch marker, however, is the first stitch. So that's where we're gonna put our first double crochet, okay? And now we're gonna put three double crochet into the next stitch. I want to show you something. Remember with this round, we started out by putting three double crochet into one stitch. So that's starting the waviness, right? We're about to put three more double crochet into that center stitch. So it's one, two, three, sorry. <laughs> so that's one, two, three double crochets into that stitch. And this is the center one. And now we're about to put three more double crochets in there. And so I point that out to say that, that this is kind of going to like enhance that weave effect, okay? So it's gonna bulge more down in that direction because of this. And also don't forget to crochet over the tail. If you forget that, don't worry about it, but I just personally hate having to weave in tails, especially when you're working in different colors and you have to wave them in in the right areas. It's just annoying when you could just crochet over it, so. Kill two birds with one stone. Okay, so I yarned over, I'm gonna enter that center stitch. Yarn over, pull through to the front, and just make a double crochet. Yarn over, enter the same stitch for that second double crochet. Yarn over, enter the same stitch again for that third double crochet. Okay, you see how it's starting to kind of go in that direction? It's starting to enhance the weave. That's what I wanted to really point out. Okay, so now we're going to put one double crochet in the next four stitches. So still crochet over that tail if you have been and you still have tail left. So one, give myself some slack. Two, three, and four. So here we increased, a little mini increase by putting three double crochet in that first stitch, we did our four double crochet, one in the next four stitches. So you know, since we increased here, it's time to decrease next. So over these next three stitches, we're gonna do a double crochet three together. Now, you might be tempted to just count these three as the three stitches, right? One, two, three. But if you pay attention to the tops, even though you see three stitches, you only see two tops, one there and one there. Why? Oh yeah, because that right there, that middle one is a double crochet three together from the previous round. So technically, all three of those, that's only one stitch. So to double crochet three together for the current round, you need this top, that's one. You need that top, which is two. And then you need this top on the other side of that double crochet three together, which is three. 
So watch this. So yarn over, enter that first one, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, enter that next top, which corresponds to all three of those. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, and now on the other side of that double crochet three together, we have this final top right there, and we'll enter that. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two, and now you should have four loops. Yarn over, go through all four, okay? And so don't get tricked, okay? Make sure you're looking at the tops when you do these double crochet three stitches together because if you're crocheting over a previous double crochet three together, then three stitches will be counted as only one stitch, if that makes sense. So count the tops, not the stitches. All right, and you guys know the pattern now. So now we're going to put one double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. So I only put one double crochet in the next four stitches. And now you're just gonna start the pattern over. So in the next stitch, we'll go three double crochet into that one stitch. And then for the next four stitches, one double crochet, one, 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 one. So that's four. And then the next one, you will be decreasing again, okay? I will meet you back around here. All right, so hopefully you guys are really starting to see the waviness happen now, okay? And it should start to, should be starting to curl up on you, okay? The reason is because, guess what you guys? How many stitches do you think we should have at the end of this round? Of course, not counting this first standing double crochet. If you said 48, that is correct, okay? So yes, we're maintaining our same number of stitches and now it's starting to curl up on us, but it's also starting to get wavy as you can see. How cool is that? I love it. All right, so now we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that standing double crochet like that, okay? And it is time for us to grab our gold again. All right, so pulling in the gold, just hook it, pull through, pull all the way through, pull on the red so that that loop right there becomes small, flip it over, and now we're going to tie a knot between the short gold and the red. We'll tie a couple of knots actually, one and then two. Now that we're done with the red for now, we'll cut our yarn and put it off to the side. Now, before we start crocheting, we're going to move our stitch marker up to the next round. Okay, and remember we slip stitched into that standing double crochet, which does not count. So this stitch right here that's actually the first stitch of that round. Now, I'm into patterns, and I hope you're noticing a pattern. There should always be four double crochets, one in each stitch below, between the mini increases, where you put three double crochet into one stitch, and the mini decreases, where you put, where you do a double crochet three together, okay, over three stitches. So you'll notice that if you're looking here, we, you end it with a decrease and then you see one, two, three. So one double crochet and three stitches. And you might be thinking, the tray you, that breaks the pattern. Well, actually it doesn't because remember you should have four double crochet in between the increase and the decrease. So here's the decrease, and then one, two, three. This stitch right here, that standing double crochet doesn't count. This is the first stitch. So one, two, three, and then four, and then we have our increase where the three double crochet are in one stitch, okay? So you'll see that the pattern is consistent all around. Even at the end where you think 
there's a deviation from the pattern because there are only three stitches here. Here's the fourth one. Okay, it began the round. So in this one, for instance, we're going to start out making that standing double crochet. So give yourself some slack. Hold it. Rotate, yarn over. Go up under and around. Tighten, hold, release, yarn over, go through two. All right, and remember that won't count. And now we're going to put two double crochet. We're going to start out the round with two double crochet, one in each stitch. So one double crochet goes into the first stitch with the stitch marker. Okay. One. And then the second double crochet is going to go into that next stitch. Two. So it's kind of like things are getting shifted, right? In this round right here, the orange round, we started out, here's that standing double crochet, we started out with the increase, the three double crochet and one. In the red round that came after, we started out, so here's the standing double crochet that doesn't count, we started out with one double crochet and then the increase, which remember happens in that center stitch of the previous increase. So increase and then one double crochet then increase and now it's going to be two double crochets because that standing double crochet doesn't count two double crochets and then once again in this center stitch of that increase of the previous round that's where we're going to put our three double crochet so one back in the same stitch two back in the same stitch three okay so it was increased then one increase now one two increase notice you're always increasing in that center stitch okay and now we'll continue on with the pattern so we'll put one double crochet into the next four one two three and next stitch four and now, since we increased here, we need to do a decrease. Once again, don't just look at the stitches because if you look at the stitches, you can be led astray. You see three stitches here, but if you look at the tops of those stitches, you only see two tops, one, two, for three stitches. That's because these three count as one. So count the tops, one, two, three. Those are the three stitches that you're crocheting over for this double crochet three together one two and three okay so yarn over enter the stitch go through two yarn over enter the next stitch which is that big one go through two yarn over into that final third stitch Yarn over go through two four loops yarn over go through all three now the pattern repeats yarn over so one next stitch two, next stitch, three, and next stitch, four. And now we know in the next stitch we need to increase because we just did the double crochet three together, which was the decrease. And remember, that increase should always happen in the center stitch of the previous increase. So that's one, two, three, that's the increase. We crocheted in that one. We're in the center right where we should be for the three double crochet. One, two, and back in there for three. And now we just continue on with the one double crochet in the next four, okay? So just continue on around doing this and you see that with each next round, it becomes more exaggerated, the waviness, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, and I will meet you guys once we get back around here. Let me give you a hint. Your pattern should end on two double crochets, meaning these last two stitches should have one double crochet in each because if we don't count this standing double crochet, we have two double crochets here. And remember, you should always have four double crochets one in every stitch 
in between your increases. So that means you're going to want to end with a decrease over here and then have two double crochets there. So for one, two, skip, three, four. All right, so hopefully yours turns out just like that. I'll see you in a bit. As expected, I ended with that decrease and then these two double crochets, one in each stitch, which makes for four stitches in between. One, two, that standing double crochet doesn't count, three, four, and then the increase. So decrease, four double crochet, increase. So for this next one, I am going to, as always, slip stitch into the top of that standing double crochet. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. <laughs> All right, and now it's time to go back to orange. So I'm gonna grab my orange yarn, hook it on. You guys should know how to do this very well by now. And just pull all the way through like that. Now I'm gonna pull on the yellow. And now I'm gonna tie a couple of knots between the orange and the yellow. Now that I am done with the yellow goat, I can cut that yarn. All right, and just move it off to the side. Okay, so we're gonna continue on with the pattern, give myself some slack so I can do the standing double crochet and just pull one side of it. That's another way that you can do it. If you can't do it with the hook on. Hold, wrap, yarn over, go up under, Yarn over, grab, release, go through two, okay? All right, standing double crochet. Looks ugly in the beginning, but it works itself out later, so don't be appalled by it. <laughs> don't judge it. All right, so now we're going to make one double crochet in the first three stitches. This right here, once again, is a standing double crochet, so that doesn't count. That means this is the first stitch. And while I'm talking about it, let me move that stitch marker up. Then I wouldn't have had to guess. I didn't really guess, you guys. I knew which one was the first stitch, but you wouldn't have to guess if you move that stitch marker. So now you know, you're reminded, oh yeah, that's a standing double crochet. That doesn't count. But this right here, I really need to turn my phone off. This right here, that's the first stitch because it has the stitch marker. All right, don't forget to crochet over that yellow tail the gold. I know I keep going back and forth, but yeah. All right, so one double crochet in the next three. Yarn over, enter the stitch, crocheting over that tail. One, next stitch. Let's see if I can give myself some slack. I think I was stepping on the yarn. <laughs> that's two. And then next stitch, that's three. And then what do you know? There's that increase. And I'm at that center stitch, so that reminds me, oh yeah, I'm going to put three double crochet in here. So one, two, three, and then four double crochet. So one in the next four. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch. That's the three, the third one, next stitch, and that's the fourth one. And then for the next stitch, that's the decrease because I increase there. So count the tops, not the stitches. One, two, three. So I'm going to be crocheting over these three stitches, which happens to look like five stitches, but it's actually three because these three are only one. So yarn over, enter the first one, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, enter the next one, that big one. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, enter the third one. Yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two, and then yarn over, go through all four. Next, one double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, Next stitch, three, next stitch, four. Next stitch is the center stitch of the previous increase. So we know we're gonna put three double crochet in there. And if you had forgotten, you could just look at what you did back here. That was the decrease. So now it's time to increase. Two and three. And then 
one double crochet in the next four and continue the pattern okay so I'm gonna meet you back around here this way and then by the way does anyone know how many stitches you should end with when you get back to this point right here this is where I want to meet you just in case that wasn't clear <laughs> meet you back around here um, look at how at how many you started out with so this standing double crochet doesn't count one two three so that tells me that I should have one double crochet here and then right here should be that decrease why should this be the decrease because that's the increase and we have four double crochet one in each stitch between the decrease and the increase see you there alright I made it back around I ended with that one double crochet after the decrease there skipping that standing double crochet you see I have three one two three and then the increase so one skip two three four stitches in between the decrease and the increase so I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that standing double crochet and if you can't find the back loop just kind of pull on it like that and then you start to kind of see okay both loops I'll go in there okay so red is next so I'm going to grab my red yarn hook it pull through all the way through all right and now I'm going to pull on the orange and then tie a couple of knots one two now I'm going to cut my orange yarn and move it off to the side all right give myself some slack oh yeah and let's move this stitch marker up remember this is the standing double crochet so this right here is the first stitch okay all right we're gonna crochet over the orange tail there and let's get it done so hold wrap two loops yarn over yarn over hold wrap pull through okay now this round we're gonna put one double crochet in the next four so we're starting out with the four so one next one two next one three and next one there's the four all right that takes us to the center stitch of the previous increase so we know we need to put three double crochet in the next stitch one two and three in that same stitch and now one double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and then now it's time to decrease over the three stitches one two and three okay so one two three yarn over go through all four and now we just continue with the pattern okay so continue doing that on around and I will meet you back there all right you guys now it's time for the flaps how exciting so as always just straighten your standing double crochet up and then insert your hook into it getting both sides of it okay like that and now it's time to switch to the yellow So we'll grab the yellow, hook it on, pull all the way through. Now tug on the red. Okay. Flip this over, tie a couple of knots with the short yellow or gold. <laughs> and the red, one, two, cut your yarn and move the red out of the way all right and then give yourself that slack 
Okay. And now we're gonna make a standing half double crochet. So yarn over like that, two loops, yarn over, pull all the way through like that, okay? And now we're going to put one half double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. Now we're going to actually for the first time put our first stitch into the same place where we slip stitch. So we're just going to make half double crochet in there. So enter the same place where you slip stitched and where you just made that half double crochet. Three loops. So yarn over and go through all three loops. Now we're gonna put one half double crochet into the next nine spaces. So that's one. We need a total of 10 half double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we have ten stitches. And now we have gone from working in rounds to working in rows, because this is just a little strip, right? So we will turn our work, give ourselves some slack, to make that half double crochet. I'm sorry, the standing half double crochet. If you don't like doing the standing half double crochet, you can always just chain two, okay? So wrap, yarn over, and go all the way through. Basically like that, okay? And now we're going to half double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, and now yarn over, enter the next stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, and now we have five loops, and yarn over, go through all five loops. We just half double crochet two together. Now we're gonna put a half double crochet in the next six stitches. So yarn over, okay, that's one, next stitch, that's two, next stitch, that's three, next stitch, four, next stitch, five, next stitch, six, next stitch. This is where we half double crochet the final two together. So yarn over, enter the next stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over again, enter that Final stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front. Five loops, yarn over, go through all five. Like that, okay? Alrighty, now for, so that was row two that we just completed. The first one was row one where we crocheted the 10 half double crochets, okay? And then we crocheted row two. Row three, we'll turn again, pull up. Hold, wrap, yarn, and then pull all the way through like that. All right, and now we're just gonna put one half double crochet in every stitch. So she have a total of eight. So one, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, Four, next stitch, five, next stitch, six, next stitch, seven, next stitch. If we can get in here, <laughs> it will be eight. Ugh. There's the other side. Eight. Okay. And you see it's getting narrower. Okay as we go on, okay? So moving on to row four. Give yourself some slack for that 
half double crochet two together. Okay, so wrap, yarn over, pull all the way through. All right, now we're going to half double crochet two together. So whenever we're looking from the inside out, like this is the inside of the hat, just turn this way, that's when we decrease. So let's decrease over the first two stitches. Five loops, go through all five loops if you can get your crochet hook through them. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put one half double crochet in the next four. So that's one, next stitch, that's two, next stitch, that's three, and next stitch, that's four. And then the two remaining, we're going to half double crochet two together. So just try to get in where you can. I know it can be a little tough with this bulky yarn, but I believe in you and I believe in me. Five loops, yarn over, pull all the way through. Okay, now it's time to rotate again. Now we're looking from the outside of the hat. And let me turn this way, okay? Pull up so we can make our standing half double crochet. I don't know if I mentioned that the last time. Rotate, yarn over, pull all the way through. All right, and now we just put one half double crochet into each of the six stitches. So that's one. There we go. Next stitch, two, next stitch, three, <laughs> next stitch, four. Next stitch, five, and last stitch. Uh, there we go, six. Okay. All right, let's turn it again. Lift up. Now we're gonna do that standing half double crochet. So yarn over, pull all the way through. And now we can do the half double crochet two together. So yarn over, enter the stitch, three loops, yarn over, enter the next stitch, five loops, yarn over, go through all five loops. And now one half double crochet in the next two. One, and then the next one. two and then these final two loops that's where we're gonna do the half double crochet two together so three loops yarn over enter the final stitch go five loops yarn over go through all five all right so at this point we will chain one and fasten off so cut our yarn Passing off like that. So this is the flap that we just completed. We turn a hat like this, right? We can count over 15 stitches to make our other flap, okay? So starting here, just count over 15 stitches. All right, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we're gonna start in that sixteenth stitch right there. Okay. Remember to count the tops of the stitches, not the actual body, because we have uh, a decrease here, and you may count three stitches, but it's really only one. Okay. So we'll start in the sixteenth stitch. And that's where we're going to start with the 10 half double crochet so that we can make the other flap, okay? So let's grab the gold yarn again. Okay, so I have my gold yarn. I also have this 16th stitch when counting from the other flap over marked. So I'm just going to hook it on, pull it through, and then I'm going to do another 
standing half double crochet. So first I'm going to chain one to secure it. Okay, and then I'll pull on it so that it doesn't come out. Okay, now I'm going to give myself some slack and I'm going to make that standing half double crochet. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to make 10 half double crochets and once again I'm going to go into the same stitch where I made that standing half double crochet to make the first one and I'm also crocheting over the tail because you guys know I hate 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 having to weave in tails. <laughs> Alright so that's one now I have nine more to go for a total of ten. Next stitch half double crochets you guys two eight skipping forward <laughs> Nine, you guys are like, what? How did he get there already? And ten. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So lift up, give yourself some slack, rotate this, and then we're going to do our standing half double crochet, wrap, yarn over, and pull all the way through. Now we're going to half double crochet two together so next stitch five loops go through all five loops like that now we're gonna put one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches so one two three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to half double crochet the last two together. That's one, and then uh, that's two. Five loops, yarn over, go through all five. Turn, work around, lift up, standing half double crochet, And now we're just going to put one half double crochet into eight stitches, starting with the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Try to make sure it's a clean sweep through the stitch. Rotate, lift up, give yourself some slack, standing half double crochet time, go all the way through. I want to wrap. I don't know if you guys saw that. All right, crochet two together, the first two, half double crochet two together, yarn over, enter the next stitch, five loops, yarn over, go through all five. Now we're going to put a half double crochet in the next six. One, two, three, did I say six? I'm at four. Four, okay, and now we're going to half double crochet these last two together, yarn over, enter the stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, enter the next stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, five loops. Yarn over, go through all five loops. All right, rotate, <laughs> lift up, standing half double crochet, yarn over, pull all the way through. All right, now we're just going to put one half double crochet into every stitch across. It should be six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one, there we go, six, okay, rotate, without dropping things, <laughs> standing half double crochet, pull all the way through, 
All right, have double crochet two together. So yarn over and then the first stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over and the next stitch, yarn over, pull through to the front, five loops, go through all five loops. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, next stitch, two. The remaining two stitches, we'll half double crochet two together. One, next stitch, yarn over, enter it. Five loops, yarn over, go through all five loops. Try to do so cleanly. There you go. Excellent. All right, so now we're going to chain one, rotate, and now we're gonna put single crochets all around the perimeter of the hat, okay? So we chain one, and we're just going to go into the stitch and put a single crochet all around. And you can use this as an opportunity, you guys, to crochet over any tails that may be along the edge so yeah just find a nice spot to at the end of each of these rows and I did mean rows <laughs> to you know crochet this nice border that's all that this really is to make your single crochets okay so it doesn't have to be super precise or anything like that just yeah find a nice spot and it'll also help to clean up the look of some of those uh, standing half double crochets if you aren't that good at them okay and now I'm working my way around my previous row or round actually which is that red round and I'm just putting one single crochet into every stitch yeah and this is going to give it a nice finished look so you guys this project has i mean even though it's pretty quick it's in terms of just everything that i have going on in life it's taking it's taken a lot of time which i'm not complaining about i love crocheting and i love making crochet videos for you guys um but in the interest of time i'm going to wait until next week's video to show you how to make the pom-pom okay so I want you guys I want, I want to make sure that you guys feel comfortable making this and then in next week's video we will make the pom-pom if you want to attach a pom-pom to it you don't have to but I'm just letting you know that that's coming now we're going to go up alongside this flap on the other side and this is what I mean see this tail I'm going to crochet over that as I'm making my single crochets when I get up there so yeah, that's just something that you can do. So just continue making single crochets around the perimeter of your hat. And I think it was you, Line Dancer, a while ago, asked for, you requested a tutorial where I make ear flaps on the hat. So if that was you, here you finally go. I'm sorry it took me so long, but you've been uh, subscribed to me long enough to know or to hear me say that yeah it's so hard because I'm so busy um, but yeah hopefully if it was you you see this and um, and I delivered <laughs> so yeah I'm just continuing to make single crochets all around this, this hat with flaps and I think this is a pretty, I don't know, I mean, one might say it's an intermediate level type of crochet hat, but you guys know I try to be very thorough in my explanations because I believe that anybody can learn how to crochet, you know? It's just a matter of how well the person that's teaching it explains it. So that's what I think. You guys will have to let me know what you think but I definitely love this hat so much I love the waviness of it you know I just thought it was so creative to alternate between the mini increases and the mini decreases when of course when you look at the round as a whole you haven't increased or decreased because they've balanced each other out but at the same time they give that 
wavy pattern. I just thought that was super creative. And, you know, now that it's the fall, I'm like, yeah, I want to make that. And I want to make it in fall colors. So, so I'm almost back to where I started. So I just need to go up this edge. And then right there is where I started my single crochets that with that chain one. So I'm just going to crochet up this edge. And yeah, just remember that if your sides are looking, you know, not as neat or straight as you would want them, then definitely use this as an opportunity to make it a little bit more uniform looking with the presence of these uh, single crochets. It works wonders. So let's see, almost, almost there you guys. We are almost done. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna put one in this corner like that. I'm gonna slip stitch into that single crochet there like that. I'm going to chain one, cut my yarn for the final time in today's video and pull through. And of course you would then weave in this tail, okay? But yeah guys, this is the final product. Like, let me take this stitch marker out let me zoom out a little bit so you can really see the pattern I'll hide that tail so it doesn't look so much like an eyesore let's see there we go let's zoom out a bit other way there we go so yeah guys this is the the crochet hat with the wavy pattern. Isn't that so awesome? I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and hopefully you guys will love it too. So yeah, just a reminder, I will see you guys next week so I can show you how to make a pom-pom, put it up here, and then we'll put some tails down here as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that is it for this video, but you know, I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting.